Let's talk about EVA foam stencils. So it's really fun to make shaped sheets of paper or um, stencils. And in the old days, when I was a young paper maker, there was this material called art core, which is foam core that has a plastic top and bottom. Foam core is paper on the top and bottom, and both of them are foam in between. So this is an old shaped deckle that I made back then. It's quarter inch. Here's another one. And it went by the wayside and we may do with other materials, but now, and maybe this was around then too, um, but there's EVA foam and you can get it in nine by 12 sheets or on a roll. And it comes in white and black. It's the same exact stuff. You can buy a pack of 20 or 24 sheets. It's really easy to cut. Now I am cutting with a knife by hand. I'm sure some machine could cut it as well. And it's really fun to uh, make shaped sheets. So here I've got just some random shapes cut out. Everything likes water, so I'm gonna wet that. I'm gonna wet my mold. This, by the way, is a 3D printed mold. And then you have choices, like this won't fit inside of my decal, the next thing I show you will. But I can place this on here. I could just make the sheet with this because this is a quarter inch. That's a pretty nice depth, but I'll just go ahead and put my decal on to hold everything in place. I've got a pulp in here that is a mixture of flax sheet pulp and a little bit of abaca. So I can scoop, lift, and the pulp is gonna just go in the holes. So I have to let that drain. So I'm gonna lift this, some of that pulp's gonna spill out. I've got plenty of pulp in those holes. And then I can remove this carefully. And I've got those fun shapes with a deckled edge all around. So super, super fun. Now I could cooch this by itself and just have the shapes, or I could laminate it to a second sheet of paper to create a design on a sheet. Okay, now I'm working on a project right now where I'm creating the letters of the alphabet. So I can just place this on here and it's gonna stick. It's like, it's got some resistance to moving. And then what I'm doing, I only need a nine by 12 covered with paper. So I can put this here to block off this side of the sheet. And then I will dip this in and pull my sheet and see how that letter A stayed in place. Let's let that drain. So I'm really waiting until this looks like an, a solid sheet of paper. Uh, this won't drain because it's a solid element. So I'll carefully lift this up and a little bit of pulp might spill down. I don't think that is going to matter. I've been making these sheets all day. Okay, I don't want this here. Love my tweezers. And then I'll pour that pulp off. Peel that up. And now that sheet is ready to cooch. And that definitely goes on to a base layer. So I hope you'll try using EVA foam. There are notes about where to get it below this video.